Hello everyone. This will be our last session that focuses entirely on navigation and routing in SAP UI5. And since routing and navigation is a big component of SAP UI5, we will come back to it every once in a while when we are doing complex projects. Uh, but uh, as far as a session entirely devoted to navigation and routing, uh, this will be the final session. Uh, I will post the GitHub link as well uh, in the link below. Uh, so what are we going to do in this session? So in this session, we are going to do a couple of things. Uh, so in the previous session, we had the route uh, slash employee slash with a mandatory parameter of the ID. And this would navigate to the employee view uh, with the ID of three for the employee. Uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to build a new view called resume. And this view actually has four tabs inside of it. Uh, so this view itself, think of it as four distinct tabs uh, that you can navigate to. Um, and when you have the hash or the route that says slash employee slash three slash resume, uh, it will navigate to the default tab. And in our case, the default tab is going to be the first tab. We'll also look at how we can change the default tab to another tab. Uh, so it navigates to the default tab. But uh, as a temporary uh, parameter or a, as a uh, not a mandatory parameter optional parameter you can also pass in another query for the tab and you can pass in notes and if you do that then we go directly to the resume the notes tab of the resume uh, so let's see how it's done uh, so the first thing we do need to do is to make sure we have the appropriate routes in the manifest.json uh, so i will go into the manifest.json here and i will go ahead and paste the route that we need uh, so here uh, we are going to have an optional parameter. So we are having the pattern. The pattern that's going to that we are interested is in employees, and then this curly brackets denote mandatory uh, params, and then resume is hard coded, and then we have this uh, question mark query. Uh, which denotes uh, optional parameters because it is inside of two colons. Uh, so that denotes it is optional. So like I mentioned before, if we do not pass that, we go to the default tab in the resume. Uh, and if this route is matched, uh, then we go to the target resume. And the target resume, we're going to go to the view uh, resume. So we'll just uh, add that here. And with the target resume, we are going to the view that is going to be called resume. And this is going to be level four. And this kind of denotes the direction in which the, uh, uh, in which the views slide in and out. And in this one, we actually have a transition of flips. So you will see the view itself flip. OK, so now we need to create the view resume. And I believe I already have the view resume created. And this is uh, just a just a boilerplate resume uh, view code. I think the title, I already have it, but otherwise it is uh, it is the default view that you would have. And it has a controller as well. And I do have the show nav button and the nav button back press. And this uh, can use the base controllers on nav back. OK, so let's go to the controller for the resume. And let's see. And again, this one is just boilerplate. Uh, there is nothing in it. Minimal code for the controller. OK, so let's uh, do this. Let's have a button that uh, allows us to go to the resume. And this we want to go from the employee. So in the employee view.xml, I'm going to add another button here. And this button, if you look at it, it says show resume. And the button press is on show resume. So let's go ahead and code that in employee.controller.js. Uh, so in employee.controller.js, we are going to do the on show resume. And as you might have guessed, we are going to use the nav to uh, method to move to the um, to move to the resume view. Um, now we do need to pass in this ID uh, because if you look at this uh, uh, this view that we have, uh, we need to have uh, the mandatory ID that we need to pass and then we go into the resume. So we are going to pass in this mandatory ID. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
have a variable called this dot id equals orgs.id. So I, I have this uh, saved here in this variable and I'm just going to pass it in. So fairly straightforward. Um, so if we come in with the ID of 3, I'm going to hold on to that and then I'm going to pass it to this resume ID. So uh, this value will be this ID. This uh, 3 is going to be the ID. And then we are going to navigate to the resume. Now, on the resume side, let's uh, build these four tabs that I was talking about. So right now, it doesn't have any of these tabs. Uh, so let's go ahead and build these tabs for the resume. Um, and for that, I will copy and paste this code. So we are going to use the icon tab bar uh, control, UI control. And this allows us to have the four tabs. Uh, so all these four tabs, they don't do a whole lot. They just, uh, in. so the first one is information, and it says information, uh, projects, hobbies, and notes. So those are the four tabs. Now the key thing here is this selected key attribute in the icon tab bar in the parent control. Uh, so what we are doing, so these icon tab filters, we need to have one of these icon tab filters uh, as the selected key. And what we are going to do is we are going to create a temporary model called the view for that view alone. And then we are going to have a value here that allows us to s let us know which one is uh, selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this uh, view model and we can do this in the init method of the controller. So the controller is going to be resume. Uh, so let's go into this resume thing and let's go ahead and go ahead and create this uh, uh, create this selected key. Uh, so we have for that what we'll do is uh, we'll create we'll create an array uh, that kind of signifies the four tabs that is in the resume view.xml and in my uh, uh, in my uh, 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 in my init method I'm going to create this uh, uh, I'm going to create this view uh, this model uh, that will hold on to this uh, these values uh, so right now we've just created an empty model uh, so there is nothing in this view model and we're also having an attach method. So if this route resume, and I believe it is resume here, uh, where's the name? So the name is resume. So if that resume does get uh, hit, then we want to run this method. Uh, so let's see what this method does. So in the on route matched method, and I think we've seen this before, so we're going to pretty much do the same thing. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get the value of the ID. So this is pretty much uh, the same code that we wrote in our previous instance. Um, so we are going to get the value of the argument and uh, orgs ID, and this will be the value of uh, three or whatever we pass in here. And then we are going to, and this is the same code that you saw in employee controller.js in the previous session. So I'm not going to go through this much, and. If if there is no value, then we are just going to go to this invalid hash. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much the same code from employee.controller.js. But we do need to add something additional. Now, what we want to add additional is if the if the route passes in this additional query, if it is passed, then we need to take into account of that. And if it is not passed, then we want to go to the very first tab, which is info. So let's uh, code that. Um, so let's see how we can code that. Um, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for the query uh, if there is a value for orgs uh, query. Now, if it is there, then we want to go to the first if there is a o query. And let's just say if we want to do something, we want to, we want to respect that. But let's start with the else first. Uh, else, what we want to do is uh, we want to go 
to the very first uh, tab, which is info in our case. Uh, so here, what we're going to do is um, we're going to navigate to resume, and the ID we are just going to pass this orgs.id that we already have. And the tab, we are going to set it as the very first one. So this is the array that we have. So the very first one is going to be info. So that's the key. And if you look at my resume view.xml, the key matches info. Uh, so if there is no value that is passed, then we go straight to this info. And we have an additional parameter here. So this is, we are going to set it to true, uh, which means that the history, this is not going to be recorded in the history. So if I save all of this, okay, I've saved all of this. Uh, if I run it, um, and as long as we don't pass in the tab, we will be taken to the very first, uh, let me, very first tab, which is the info. Yes, yeah, so if I look in my hash, I'm not passing in any of uh, the uh, any of the inf uh, the only thing that I'm passing is tab equals info, and that's because of this code uh, here in uh, resume.controller.js where I uh, pass it in explicitly. Okay, so if there is a value that is passed in by default, so if I even if I yeah, so if I have a value that is passed in by uh, passed in from employee.controller.js, then I need to respect that. And the way I can do that is if there is a value, let me also add this one as well, if there is a proper value, and it also needs to match this index of query.tab. Uh, so if it is uh, found, uh, so it needs to be any of these four valid values. If it is sent from the employee, then what I want to do is I want this uh, view model that I have, that I've created, I'm going to set the selected key to that tab. Uh, so if I pass it in, then I need to respect that. So if I save it, now let me go into this employee controller.js and uh, let me go ahead and add some additional values, right? Uh, so let me pass in, because right now we are not passing in any of that. Um, so let me go ahead and pass it. Uh, so I will pass this query tab. And right now I'm setting the queries to tab to hobbies. Uh, so let me run this now. Let me close it, run it again. And this time, since we are passing the hobbies as the tab, I should be taken directly to the hobbies. Uh, yeah, I'm taken directly to the hobbies uh, uh, tab. Now, if I click, if I uh, go back and forth, I can go back and forth, and you will see that the hash also changes. Um, I mean, the hash is still hobbies, uh, the because we don't have the history. And if I hit tab. Uh, the back button, then it immediately takes me back to this employee page. And if I look at the hash now, uh, it's going to be slash zero. So that's the significance of uh, not having the history. Uh, so if you noticed, uh, we are not uh, looking at the history. We are, we are disregarding the history. Um, because if we do hold on to the history, then every time we switch back and forth and then if we hit back then it, it'll be multiple times before we can actually go back to this employee view so that's why we're not uh, we're not holding on to the history okay that's it uh, folks uh, i will put the github link down below and this will conclude our uh, session that is devoted entirely to navigation and routing uh, so we'll look at uh, more advanced topics uh, from the next session. Uh, every now and then we will come back and visit uh, data binding and navigation and routing because they are key elements of SAP UI5 programming. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks. Bye.